Hi guys. So today's topic of conversation is going to be snow removal attachments. Now the first attachment that we're going to go over is the most common, it's the most popular that everyone is going to tell you to reach for and that's going to be this, a snow bucket. Now on this S185 here, this is a 72 inch snow bucket. You notice the high back, a little tough in angling this camera, notice the high back on it and the wide mouth. Now the machine itself physically is five feet wide, this bucket is six feet wide. Now the benefit to having a high capacity snow bucket is that you can scoop snow, stack it high. So you see this long driveway? This is where your selling point is on these small lots. So a lot of guys wouldn't like a parking lot like this. But look at what I'm able to do. I am able to scoop the snow back up. inefficient ways to plow snow unless you are battling a major major snowfall that a plow could not get through then the bucket is going to be inefficient in a smaller event maybe a four inch or six inch event snow bucket is going to be inefficient for you to plow with for the simple fact that it's not going to really mound up in the bucket it's kind of going to get into the bottom area and then it's going to want to wind row around to the side so if you're making very long passes in a big parking lot the bucket is going to be inefficient for you now in a smaller parking lot similar to the ones that I do that maybe you see in my video I have to worry about is losing spaces so since Spacing is at a premium. I actually have to stack the snow higher. Uh, the next part of this video, we're going to cover angle blades and snow pushers. So stay tuned. Now, I'm over here at the dealership. So what I wanted to show you is, first of all, we're going to talk about the angle blade. So this is a typical Bobcat angle blade. Now, basically what happens here is this blade will oscillate left to right, and it doesn't have any wings. So the snow... So the snow will just fall off to the side once you angle it. So pushing straight is not really your best bet with an angle blade. You kind of want to wind row it one way or the other way. So the benefit to that is, is that when you take on a snow bank head on, you tend to lose tractive power because you put so much material in the front of it. So that's where we get to the box containment blade, which is sitting over here. Now, as you can see, this box blade will mount to your skid steer plate attach. It's gonna go right up to your machine, regardless of the machine that you have. And basically what it's going to do is, it's going to be like a containment blade. So all the snow is gonna get caught up in here, in between, the, in between here and there. And what that's gonna do is, you're gonna get a big, big mound of snow in front of you, and you're going to push that all the way to the back. Now, the reason why I like the box blade is because you can grab a lot of material. You see this thing is probably a good 10, maybe even 12 feet wide. I don't see the measurement on it. So this is a 10 foot. So this is a 10 foot wide blade that we have here. So the point of that being is you can get a lot of material, keep it in front of you and push it all the way to the back. Now the reason why I say I don't like a box blade is because it's very one dimensional as you can see it's just one it's just one piece of equipment here there's no there's no angling to it it's just right up to your plate which is right there so basically you're stuck with what you have now 
Snow Wolf actually came out with a very nice product. What they have done is they have a bar that stretches across all the way similar to this and this is all open because this is where your angle blade is with the plate. So these sides come off with just by dumping the angle blade and backing up. So you can actually hook up and unhook it in 30 seconds with no tools required. You don't have to get out of the machine. So if you get a very big, uh, larger snow event, heavy snow, wet snow, you are then going to end up with not being able to push that far with your skid steer loader. You're gonna to start to get bogged down. You're gonna to have to back up and hit it again and again to get it all the way where you want to go. So the benefit to that, an angle blade, is that you kick it to the side, the snow will, for the most part, swish to that one side and not really overflow the other side. And the other point is, the, but the problem with that is you can't get a very big push. So you're going to push everything to the side of the plow rather than pushing it all the way to the back. So the box containment blade is going to hold everything. Even in a smaller snow event, the angle blade is still better than a bucket. The snow bucket is the slowest method you can possibly have. So with that being said, while I'm a traditionalist, I like a snow bucket because you can pile and stack uh, with box blade and an uh, angle blade. You can push it up, but you're not gonna get the good stacking ability like you would get with a bucket. So guys, I hope this video helped you out. So I hope that this video helped you. Questions, comments, please leave them down below.